Sometimes, when I make a great effort, I can remember her scent, the sweetness of her breath. Serena. to try it, try it, it's, you see how beautiful it is, I lose, I can, it's supposed to be a little tiny bit scary, it's supposed to be an Archpenter game, and damn, this music, this is the kind of music I would give 6 out of 5 rating, um, okay, and like you heard this voice acting, I am really known by this game. Serena, why can't I see you more clearly? Why can't I even remember? This was taken on that crisp winter night at our mutual friend's hunting lodge. We came back indoors laughing, giddy as teenagers. It was truly like an enchanted time, like we were in a magic circle where no sorrow or pain could touch us. My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is quite important. The guy who snapped this, our host that night, used an actual film camera. It was a different world back then. I remember this different world, and I exactly... My love, we don't have a lot of photos of ourselves as a couple, so this one is... You always put too much salt in, dear. Think about your pressure. Serena enjoyed spice in our life. I preferred it more bland. We were so different on some points. The furniture came with the cabin. Considering how off the beaten path this place is, that helped make up our mind. Oh, that's a nice mechanic. The unfortunate life of a couple stage. I don't know those okay. books. Um. So much wisdom and happiness in this bookcase. My life would have been much poorer without oh, all Oh, I understand because I'm kind of a book person too. I mean, I really don't have time and with uni coming, I won't have more time to read books just on leisure, but I really love that. The smell of old books. Yes, I love smelling books too. What happens to wood pulp as it ages gives it that distinctive vanilla smell. I loved it when we took down one of my favorites and curled up on the bed to read together as the wind howled outside on cold winter nights. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon, did I? No. Of course not. Most of the books are mine, but all of hers are still here, too. A lot of rarities and special editions here. I didn't lend out my Necronomicon. Most of the books are mine, but is all of hers are still here, same. too. Is there any that I can pull out or something? So many afternoons spent in this armchair. This picture is a little bit tiny bit disturbing. I really want to go up. I don't think I can go up. True friends stand by each other through an adversity. That's a beautiful quote that you have up here. Man, I don't know your name. What's this? Come love with peace in your heart. Ride with me 
set your model guys here is our moon a snow white maze come within to my garden's fair in a land of your play your art our shall be the highlight of days our sun our sun our sun and sky and rainbow ways come love with peace in your heart said Niava the ice blue eyes hmm blue eyes it's based on an Irish folktale. Warrior poet O'Sheen goes to Tirnanog, a Celtic otherworld known as the Land of Youth and Promise. Niav is of the Fey folk, the fair ones, fairies. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. I've always been drawn to things that are kind of both good and bad at the same time. Maybe because that's so like life. My grandma introduced me to these old legends when I was just a kid, in between stories of what she could still remember of her childhood in the old country. Weird mix of doggerel and artistry. The elemental imagery is evocative, but the language and structure are a bit quaint. Still, some lines jump out at you. Something draws me to this trunk. Is it the memories locked within? Or something else? We use this trunk to store trinkets and papers, but I can't help thinking there's something of importance Maybe inside. Can open it. It's too painful. I want to, but not yet. You know what? You should actually decide what you want to do. I don't even know your name, man. Um. We had such a wonderful time dining in this cabin. Serena loved to experiment with her cooking. Okay, so we're not doing cooking here. Just here. Quite a large armoire for our admittedly Spartan needs. She uses most of it. It's every woman. We all have our skeletons in the closet. Not Serena. She was perfect. Oh. For some reason, light bulbs wouldn't last long in this lamp. I never looked into it. What's she that? adored all things of nature. I remember her long walks out in the woods. Curiously, we never brought many plants inside the cabin. We were surrounded by so many outside. I guess we were saturated by them. At least I was. Maybe I should have let her bring some plants inside. She liked them a lot. A Bible? She's fairly religious. Oh. Not me. I'm the cold and cynical bastard. But I don't remember that ever being an issue between us. She always thought our relationship was a blessing. God, how I miss her. <laughs> no longer the cynical asshole, I guess. Her faith came as a surprise to me. She was never prudish about sex, so I just didn't expect it. I guess people simply aren't that predictable. No, I don't want to read right now. Especially not a Bible. Okay. Our refuge from the world. A place of warmth and passion. I can imagine. Sometimes we joked we needed to be so far out in the woods because that's how our sex life was, far out. The furniture came with the cabin, but the bed clothes we brought with us. A place like this needs some luxury, but without her... What happened to Serena? There are no monsters under the bed. I guess they're all in my head. There's a strand of blonde hair in the comb. Yes, blonde hair like sun rays. I'm remembering. What's wrong with my memory? Did I have a stroke? Hers. 
I used it too when shaving. Oh, articles. Why can't you read that? They prevent my blood pressure from skyrocketing. Doctor's orders. And Serena's. These keys are for the cabin and the car. If the keys are here, does she have her spare? I'm a scare what happened to Serena, guys. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much, but the guy is talking, first of all. Besides, I... I should probably stay here in case she doesn't. Did she even have her own spare? Um... Commune Evidence. Serena's favorite but perfume. pretty much the story is really engrossing. So yeah, some spare, some clothes. Sorry, I should have made that quiet. Probably didn't expect that. Dearest, how do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. I was so lost such a short time ago. Everything seemed drained of color and feeling. I think we were meant to find each other, to bring meaning to our lives again, make sense of the confusion shrouding both of us. When we stepped into the crystal silence of the snowy woods, away from the chatter of the guests, all nature seemed expectant, as if holding its breath, witnessing a rare moment of something infinitely better than what life in the ordinary run of things has to offer. Do you remember how the light crust of the snow glittered in the reflected light of the country house? How the copse of trees in which we walked was haloed with a magical aura? I felt the chill of the night air, and you opened your coat and enfolded me in your arms, and we hugged tight, sharing the warmth, sharing the only thing any of us have to share on this earth when you think about it. Okay, I feel like the end of this letter will be very dreadful. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and crisp pure night air and the stillness all around. We lay back and I guess when I realized what I was seeing. The luminous starscape, like a vast velvet cloth sprinkled with powdered sugar, like it can only be seen in the countryside. I had tears in my eyes when I turned to you and we kissed, and it felt like the only moment in all of time, or outside time, and ours was the only spark that could ignite the universe. You gave me these moments. You complete me in ways I never knew to dream of. Let me be the one who makes sense of the confusion whenever you feel lost again. We can make our own world against the rest of the world if need be. Together we can silence all the demons, heal all the wounds. I love you. In eternity yours, Serena. No, it was actually a beautiful letter and it has a beautiful ending. And you have a perfect wor way with words, Serena. This was really Dearest, do you have anything to say about this? On the cross, okay. I guess we are done here. It's a beautiful day, though there's an unnatural calm surrounding the area. I've always loved the hazy afternoon shades of this place. It's deep into summer, so there's a few hours left okay. until it gets I, dark. I, I, I'm a little bit scared what happened to Sierra. The sunlight is so bright here. In other circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Amazing, but why is she in she with you? There's a crack in this window from a tantrum she threw some time ago. It wasn't the only thing she threw. Not exactly perfect soundproofing. The sunlight can be confusing, oppressive, as if pregnant with some ill omen, or is the stress finally catching up with me? The sunlight is so bright here. In other here? circumstances, this would have been the perfect afternoon for us. Not really. Unlike its sibling, this lamp would last for months. The clock is a trophy from our flea market adventures. Chalk this particular purchase up to Every cabin needs one. Oh, you have a dream cutter, that's amazing. Well, okay. Maybe you want to open this now. We found this trunk at a flea market. 
big enough for a lifetime of... We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. We found this trunk at a flea market. Big enough for a life... We hated guns, so we never had any, even out here. But this would have been a good place to keep one, since it can be locked. Oh, what's that? I never seen it before. Why do you have such creepy pictures in your cabin, and you have nothing to say about them? They are really disturbing. This window never got much attention. Then again, the view isn't nearly as spectacular. <laughs> Priorities, right? I guess it's covered with grease and... Gr There's probably nothing out there that I want to see, anyway. All the stuff I care about is inside. Well, except for Serena. Sometimes she would brush her leg against mine under the table when we were eating. A curious set. The table is worn but sturdy, just like our relationship was. Or is. What happened to Serena? Just our dining table. I could tell plenty of stories about the dining table was well worn even when we acquired the cabin. You could tell from its appearance that it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. And there were many more to come. Our dining table. I could tell plenty of stories about this table. No, to I be honest, I'm surprised it's still in one piece. The dining table was I well worn that. even when we acquired the cabin. Here, okay. You could tell from its appearance that oh, it had been the centerpiece of many happy occasions. She's pretty. And the guy who snapped this? Our, my love. We don't have a lot of photos. The guy who snapped this? Our host that night? Used an actual film camera. It was a different oh world back God, then. How long has it been, I wonder? I can't tell. And I miss her so much. I never noticed it before, but there's a tiny crack in it. Well, it's a hairline fracture. I still remember when this thing smelled of fresh paint. How did I miss everything getting dinkier? more worn. We should have renewed our life somehow, but money was always so tight. I feel like Serena is a After all these years, it permanently smells of her and her perfume. The last thing I need now is to see myself in the mirror. I must look awful. How could I possibly forget the color of her hair like that? Even for a moment, she was my girl with the sun in her hair. What's happened to me? I don't know, man, but I don't like where this is going. And for you guys, but oh my god, this is so beautiful. I, I like to watch her comb her hair before she came to bed. But that was so long ago. At some point, I just stopped. also had a brush, but I can't see it anywhere, nor some of her other personal items. It's just a regular comb bought from a supermarket. Mm. That's a scary one. She also had a brush, okay. but I can't um. see it anywhere, nor I should leave the keys here until she comes back, because I know she will. I'm not so sure, man. Where are you going? Oh my god. That's so scary when she starts talking. I said I'd be back, and here I am. I did come back. We also have a key for the outhouse, but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. No one comes here anyway. We did have a night prowler once who left a mark inside the outhouse, but we I never noticed it before, but there's some rust on the ring. Hmm, should get a new one. We also have a key for the outhouse but can't be bothered to keep it anywhere other than under that rock next to the thing. She always reminded me to take these. I've been so immature about these. Even resorted to the old pill under the tongue trick. 
more than a few times. She deserved better. Please take it. It's not just that I worry about you. I don't want to bury my pig-headed husband. Oh my god. Oh, so we're married. That's... I mean... I Beta blockers. We are not. I have high blood pressure. I don't think we are anymore. Dearest. Okay. And then you... As always, I automatically went to the window side, and she took the one by the armoire. Some of her no, scent still, still... What's the matter with me? I can't seem to remember even ordinary things. When was the last time we made love? Maybe if I go to sleep, I will wake up, and there she'll be, arms wrapped around me, the warm and passionate touch of her lips. I can't sleep. I feel like maybe it we feels are as if dead. I've been awake for a I feel too rest. I don't sleep well without Serena next to me. Both a blessing and a curse, I suppose. Can we open this? I know it's my general state of mind, but I feel even more depressed near this armoire. Guess I can't shake. Be honest. Does this dress show too much cleavage? I want only one pair of eyes on me. Oh. How I miss her naked back when she was standing by this armoire. The perfect curve of her neck. Her firm bottom. I love how the both voice acting and script is filled with love for Serena. I really feel the love. I know you guys, but I do, and it's Maybe later. Story. There's nothing of interest inside the closet anyway. Okay, do you want to open this freaking trap? Finally, because I can I do. Is there anything worse than beautiful memories turning to it's dust? Not, it's nothing good. I feel like I don't even have the strength to lift the lid. Please. What once gave me so much joy. <sighs> we found this trunk at a flea market. Okay, we used to we love rummaging around trunk. those in our early years. Come sit with me. I want to talk. There's something I have I to tell like you. I, like I have been trying, and believe me, I've been trying so no. hard. Serena, no. I almost had it. Mm. What was she trying to tell me? The most comfortable spot in the cabin. Well, along with the bed, of course. I didn't cook much for her. Always so damn. I can't even remember what her favorite meal was. Someone said... Work and love are the only things that ever really happened to us. Was it Freud or Marilyn Monroe? Did I let my work destroy my love? Writing was so all-consuming for me, and I made so little headway in all this time. Sit down, we need to talk. When did it go so wrong? This was supposed to be a... We weren't supposed to fight here. Oh, it's becoming so bad so quickly. Oh my god. Serena, what? She's angry now. Part of me realizes I should be more shocked by this. But for some reason, I just feel numb. Beyond it. You just don't get it, do you? You never do. All of this... these... pathetic souvenirs from our relationship, they're all lies. I couldn't care less about this damn thing. This armchair. This is where we had that... talk. That damn... I've been trying so hard, but we lost something along the way. Did you get my letter? Oh, the letter changed now. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, Serena, don't do this to me, sweetheart. Dearest, 
How do I say any of this? I like your way with words, but if I don't write this, I don't know what I'll do. My life feels so unreal now, dreamlike, but wonderfully so. Let me try, even if clumsily. The hours I spent with you when we last met are precious to me. And then you toppled us on the snow, you devil. We laughed and rolled around, my head already spinning from the wine and cream. Thank that heartless slut, at least once, whenever she covered up her body. What? What did she just say? No, this isn't like me. I must calm down. If anyone is to be blamed, you that's are me. You really mean. I, I'm getting really scared by what is happening, guys. I don't like it. I tried to flush these a long time ago, but someone noticed, as if she cared about my impotent life. High blood pressure? What a load of bull. I've never felt better in my life. I'm sick and tired of having to pamper you like a baby. Fine, I hope you have a great, lonely time at the hospital. Why torture myself trying to remember? Why is goodness so wrong? I can't even bear to look at my face. She's really done a number. How could I have been so blind? Her vanity. Always oh fixing her god. hair before this bed. Is different now. Can you see it, guys? Oh my god, it's terrible. Doting on her hair like a child. But I'm, I'm being unfair. Would I have wanted her to be some frump? <sighs> I'm angry too then. angry to even care. I don't like what you're going. Where are you going? Oh, that's rich. Just run away. I just needed to blow off steam to be somewhere else, just for a while. But I, I can't even remember what we argued about. The stains on this bed suddenly make me mad. Angry, even. Why must life always end up so sordid and hateful? I sit here on the train, taking me to my final farewell to the ones who brought me to this world. I see the smiling couples on their way to new adventures and think, it used to be us. We had joy and laughter and friends once, but a memory is not the thing itself. You're very good at letting things you don't want to face slip off you. You continue as if nothing has changed, lost in your own lifeless world. Words and dreams may be enough for you. You know what? You'll get a chance to test that soon. I question how I once saw things. How much of what I thought we had were my own feelings, and how much of your manipulation? Because you are so very good with words, aren't you? You knew how to use them when we met, and for the longest time, I went along with the romantic whirl you conjured up around our shabby, isolated existence. Oh, it took me long enough to see it for what it was. And there were these moments that you swept me off on foolish flights of fancy, when I threw myself into your fantasies. You wove your spell, plying me with your magic and with wine in equal measure, and I was taken in like the lost little girl I was. Do you realize all the pain you've caused me? They say if you have to ask whether someone loves you, you already know the answer. Protestations to the contrary can no more convince me any more than I can make my own mother or father draw breath again. Your aloofness tells a different story. I no longer know what you're thinking. With my parents gone and with your refusal to even accompany me in my time of need, something broke. Or maybe it happened long ago, but I never saw it so clearly before, even after everything. I don't make you feel comfortable? Really? That's all you have to say? I won't waste any more life waiting for things that'll never come. Of course, that's what you expect me to do. Play the good wife so no one will laugh at you for being the failure you are, to shield you from the truth of your existence. Lost in your books and vapid verse, blithely drifting into the mists of time, as if not even a footnote, when you could be raking at it if you'd only used your words for anything other than personal indulgence. You talked and talked about your path, the winter blueness of my eyes, all that nonsense. And the years rolled by, the seasons came and went, on and on. You pursuing your dreams that will never be. Lost in your damned words, looking for clues you'll never find. I'm sure you're doing it even now with your rotting books. You took the best years of my life and gave only empty words in return. We've gone as far as we can, and something's got to give. So, Us. I have to say it before we continue. 
that I, pr I pretty much have an idea what happened here maybe because I'm kind of a writer myself and I know how you can get lost in the world of fiction sometimes but I feel that what happened here is that he wasn't able to be completely honest with his feelings and just created something fake and I do believe it wasn't his ill will but she just couldn't understand and he didn't explain to her because I I do feel that sometimes when I really I have days when I write a lot and when I just go into the real life afterwards sometimes I am a little bit lost what's real and what's not real um, sometimes when I have really creative dreams which I do have I'm not sure if they are dreams or real life sometimes I these two things merges and it's, it does take a while to actually get used to it and control it and maybe he weren't able to or maybe he was just scared to be completely honest but if you're not if you're not trying to ex at least explain how you feel so that the other person understands things like this happened 